This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at sowing the seeds of righteousness through peace. In the bustling gardens of our lives, we often find ourselves tending to various aspects of our spiritual landscape. Just as a diligent gardener plants seeds to reap a bountiful harvest, as disciples of Jesus, we are called to sow the seeds of righteousness in the fertile soil of peace. James 3.18 beautifully encapsulates this profound truth. And it's the harvest of righteousness sown by peace by those who make peace. So let us dive into the deeper meaning behind this verse and explore how the guidance of the Holy Spirit can help us cultivate a garden of righteousness through peaceful actions. In the book of James, it is often considered a practical guide for Christian living. It addresses numerous issues relevant to our lives today. James 3.18 is nestled within a discussion on the power of our words and the importance of wisdom. The preceding verses caution against the destruction potential of our tongue, emphasizing that a fountain cannot produce both fresh and bitter water. In contrast, verse 18 presents a transformative principle. Righteousness is the fruit of peace, cultivated by those who actually make peace. This principle not only reflects the teachings of Jesus, but it also highlights the essential role of the Holy Spirit in guiding our actions. To sow a harvest of righteousness, we must prepare the soil of our hearts through the practice of peace. Peace goes beyond mere absence of conflict. It is a state of inner tranquility and harmony that stems from both a relationship with God and being a disciple of Jesus. We are called to be peacemakers in a world often plagued by discord and division. The Holy Spirit empowers us to exemplify the Messiah's character, bringing unity and healing to a fractured relationship. So making peace amidst challenges, and we've got challenges. The journey of cultivating peace is not without challenges. We encounter conflicts, disagreements, differing perspectives, different theology and doctrines. However, the power of the Holy Spirit enables to navigate these challenges with wisdom and grace. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Galatians, lists the fruits of the Spirit, and they include peace. These virtues are interconnected, and they form a harmonious symphony that produces the beautiful melody of peace. So how do we go about sowing seeds of righteousness? As we sow seeds of peace, we create an environment that's conducive to the growth of righteousness. So what about the power of a harvest? Just as a diligent farmer patiently tends to his crops, we must patiently await the fruition of our efforts. We sow the seed, we water, we cultivate, we weed, and growth comes. Our faithful obedience and commitment to sowing peace will yield a bountiful crop that brings glory to God. This harvest is not solely for our benefit, but serves as a testimony of the transformative power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So in a world yearning for peace and harmony and righteousness, we have the privilege and the responsibility to sow the seeds of grace. James 3.18 reminds us that our actions have the power to yield a harvest of righteousness that glorifies God. And that's the only point. Are we bringing glory to the name of God and his mighty son, Jesus? As disciples of Jesus, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. And so we actively pursue peace. We look for it. We embrace the challenges along the way. In doing so, we participate in the divine process of cultivating a garden of righteousness, drawing others closer to the heart of our Heavenly Father. May our lives reflect the power of the Holy Spirit as we become instruments of peace and agents of transformation 
in this world. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.